Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna look at this cool app. It's called Luma AI. It's on iOS. It's this app that allows you to scan in um, with the AR, the camera sensor, and generate kind of a model like we're seeing here on the screen. This is a stadium. I wanted to try it out and build something and put it on a website. So I chose this guitar pedal. You'll see in the background, if you look closely, the uh, background is what is actually behind me in some of these videos. This is my house and this is my guitar pedal. And I just wanted to test out this application. So it looks really cool. This is what it looks like when it's rendered on the web page. Obviously, you can click and drag and change things around if you'd like yourself. So you can see the whole 3D scene. It's not perfect. It says in the app, you know, you want the lighting to be really good in order to get some of the static and some of the fuzzies away that's in front of the camera but overall it looks pretty neat and this is what it looks like when you're capturing the image data it gives you kind of this grid that you have to follow along with your phone and point it at certain spots to capture a full 3d image so it's using AR to kind of capture this full 360 degree angle of whatever you're trying to capture here and you can do a model or you can do a scene here i'll just do the whole scene that's what it looks like when it's in the app and it'll process it took about i think five or ten minutes to process and then it will allow you to export the scene or the model and you can export in a few different formats the size of the scenes is a lot larger you're looking at like a hundred megabytes so that's it's a pretty big file but if you do like a medium or small size of just the model, it's not too bad. You can get one around 8 or 11 megabytes. And this is, uh, this is another separate service. This is called Spline. And with Spline, you can import the model and actually do stuff with it. So here I'll add some text next to it that just says mood and you can change the text. And this service uh, actually allows you to easily export it for a website using just vanilla JavaScript. So here's the model here and it says mood. So here's the 3D text and we can click and drag and rotate it around. So if I want something like this on a section of my website, I could use a service like Spline. Both of these services, by the way, are free. I didn't have to pay for any of this. This is all just free to try and test out. And the exporting of the actual resources and stuff is pretty simple I'll, it shows here in a second you can even send it to um, a code sandbox so you can just generate a whole website and a link um, right within the ui of this app here of spline so here i'm just building the code sandbox and i can just take the url in the top and share it with people if i want them to check out the pedal or check out this project so they make it really easy to try out and use and uh, yeah, this is really cool. I could definitely see myself using this on a project in a section or something, just making this cool draggable model on a website. And I'll leave some links below for some of the resources I use and some of the demos that you're seeing here if you want to check them out. So yeah, I thought this was cool. I thought I'd share. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.